Gail, welcome. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you to uh, Borough President Brewer. We'll hear from her in a moment. Thank you to you and your team for a wonderful week in Manhattan. We've been all over the borough this week. Uh, my team has crisscrossed the borough uh, with the help of uh, Borough President's team, and we've gotten a lot done. And today is a very important day and another step in something that's literally been talked about for 20 or 30 years in this city but never been achieved, which is a greenway all the way around Manhattan Island. And I want you to take a moment to think about what that would mean. To me, it's a very, very compelling vision. The notion that this place, the center of our city, uh, home to so many, but also a place that people from all five boroughs come to. Imagine if you could go all the way around it on foot or on a bike and experience the whole thing. Really unlock this waterfront and make it available to everyday people all the time. That's what the vision is and the goal is. But you know the phrase, Rome wasn't built in a day. To achieve that vision, we're going to have to go step by step. Because even though there are some great places in the city where you can get close to the waterfront, there's also some places where we're totally cut off. Parts of Manhattan where there's just no access. And we have to overcome that step by step. So it's something I want to see for every Manhattanite and every New Yorker. Let me start uh, by thanking two members of my administration who are working hard on the uh, project that we're going to talk about today. And you see this beautiful rendering of it. I want to thank uh, the Parks Commissioner, Mitch Silver, and our President of the Economic Development Corporation, James Patchett. This is going to be a labor of love for both of them to get this done for this community and for all New Yorkers. Now, I want to just give you a perspective during Manhattan Week here, so let's start with Gail's home neighborhood, the West Side. Uh, if you think about the West Side, you think about what Hudson River Park has meant and the Greenway along the West Side has meant and, and how different it has been. So. When I started at NYU in 1979, there was nothing like that on the west side. And uh, to see year by year west siders get more and more access to the water has been a really wonderful thing. But you know what? East siders deserve it too. Simple, simple point. East siders deserve access to the water too. And we have the opportunity to do it. So that's what we're here to make sure happens. When I Went, uh, a few years later, I went to Columbia. I lived at 104th and West End. I used to spend a huge amount of time in Riverside Park. You know, that access to the water changes your life. It makes it better. And it should be for everyone. Another great example, you know, and, and this is for anyone who says, oh, can it ever be done? Is it possible? When I went into the city council in Brooklyn in 2002, uh, they have been fighting over the potential for Brooklyn Bridge Park for about 20 years previous. And there was many, many people said it would never be done. You go to Brooklyn Bridge Park today, 80 acres uh, has been an extraordinary success, and people from all over Brooklyn, all over the city go to it and enjoy it. So when you look at the example behind us and you think about what this will do to change people's lives, but then what it would mean to have all of Manhattan surrounded by a greenway. Uh, it can be done, and it will be done, and we're going to start right here. So we announced uh, some months ago the $100 million, $100 million in city funds to construct an esplanade between East 53rd Street and East 61st. This is one of the biggest elements of the east side waterfront that does not have access right now. We want to close that gap. And this would be one of the biggest steps we could take towards that vision of a full Manhattan Greenway. So this money will cover the distance between East 53rd and East 61st. The design process to make this a reality begins next week. So now it becomes tangible. The money is ready. The design begins immediately. Construction will begin in 2019 and be completed in 2022. So this is going to be a major, major project and a complicated project, but we're going to get it done quickly. Again, the ultimate goal, 32-mile loop 
just want to put in perspective just how extraordinary it would be. A 32-mile loop around all of Manhattan is our ultimate goal. And this is complemented by other things we're doing. Uh, and this continues an effort over many administrations to reconnect us to the water. But another key piece we've done in this administration is NYC Ferry. And the response already in just months has been outstanding. And NYC Ferry is also drawing people back to the water and giving them an opportunity to experience the water in a new and better way. So we're going to keep doing these things. This is how we create a more livable city. This is how we create a more equitable city. The waterfront's for everyone. We want everyone to be able to enjoy it. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work, but it's going to change this borough and this city for the long haul. And I want to thank everyone who's a part of it. And again, one uh, person, many people here have advocated for it, but one of the loudest voices always when it comes to improving life in Manhattan, the borough president of Manhattan, Gail Brewer. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. And um, as somebody who lives on the west side, I come to the east side now often. And all I hear as you do is, how come the east side can't be like the west side? But you're going to make it so. And I also love the fact that when we do these waterfront projects, there's a lot of community input. And I know that makes for a better project. But I just want to let you know that um, the 32 miles can be walked because Cy Adler and the Great Saunter, every first Saturday in May, they walk with a million other people the entire 32 miles. And uh, they're very excited that they're going to be able, in the near future, to complete it in a much more satisfactory manner. Of course, they, being Manhattanites in particular, gave me a list of other parts of the walkway that need to be fixed. But I won't go through them, but just so you know that this is always part of our agenda. There's always more to do. But this is a complicated project, um, and it will make a big difference for those of us who love the outdoors and love the waterfront. Um, and I think this shows the, the administration's commitment to, uh, to definitely to East Midtown, because, of course, we just finished with the amazing Councilmember Grodnick and the City Council. This will add to the, uh, the expertise and the uh, green space, although not exactly in East Midtown, is certainly part of it. And I certainly want to thank Congresswoman Maloney and Councilmember Kalos because they have been co-chairs of the East River Esplanade Task Force. And that has helped to uh, get both East Harlem and the Upper East Side to advocate for waterfront needs. This $100 million investment will better connect the waterfront to the surrounding communities. And it will complete, but not completely according to my friends, the 32-mile coast. And I know that we'll have more cyclists and walkers, although we've learned from Riverside Park, the two do not mix well. So we have to figure out a way that they can mix well in a new... I know. I, there are two different places to go. I got it. I saw it. it we learned from our mistakes, so it'll be fabulous. Um, and so I'm really proud that in my office as borough president, we've been working on these Greenway projects, particularly the pier at 107th Street, which is part of the East Harlem Esplanade. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor, and we're glad that you enjoyed the Waver Tree, which is a wonderful boat at South Street Seaport yesterday, also part of our waterfront. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Yes. And I want to give a special thanks to Congress member Carolyn Maloney. She has secured additional federal funding for this project, which is always appreciated. And uh, she serves in addition to a role in Congress as co-chair of the East River Esplanade Task Force. I know this is really a labor of love for her. And when Carolyn Maloney decides something matters, she puts her whole heart into it and she produces. So this is gonna help us speed this along. Congress yeah. member Maloney. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and thank you to all of my uh, outstanding colleagues and the advocates that have worked so hard on it. And we are so happy that you're putting your heart into it, and uh, not only putting your heart into it, but uh, helping us gain appropriations that can move this forward and directing your uh, commissioners to help us make this turn into a reality. This $100 million will immediately get off the table and into the ground of working on uh, breaking ground and moving forward for the gap between 53rd Street and 61st, 61st Street. This is in Community Board 6, which has less open space than any other community board area in the city. So it is really needed, and it's such a joy to be able to enjoy the 
the beauty of the waterfront. Um, back when they were repairing the FDR Drive, uh, we came up with the idea of an esplanade and saving the caissons and the work that was there that they were going to remove to be the bed for it. And back then I got a grant of over 475000 to work with the EDC to come up with an RFP and a plan uh, to move forward. Back in 2010, we formed an Eastside Esplanade Task Force, Jessica Lappin and myself, because we saw all the work on the west side that our borough president uh, was championing, and we wanted to see it happen. And we meet monthly, and each, each year we move a little more forward, and uh, this is just going to be a giant step forward. Uh, we appreciate the mayor having the same passion that we have for this project of a green necklace around our, our Manhattan that will be enjoyed by bikers, walkers, children. It's a great addition to our great city. We live in uh, the greatest city in the world, uh, but we really hadn't developed our, our waterfront for, for the people to enjoy. This effort is uh, long overdue, and I, I thank everyone who's standing with me today and with the mayor uh, to move this project forward. It's a great, great addition to our communities. Thank you. The uh, enthusiasm is great for this project, and one of the things is that all of us hear from our constituents. When I, when I walk along the uh, Esplanade up by Gracie Mansion, I get a, a good earful all the time of what people want to see uh, get better. Sometimes I pass on instructions to Mitch and James, uh, and we all hear from people the passion about what this would mean for their lives and how much it would improve their lives. So I know our local representatives hear this, and that's part of why they have been pushing so hard for these changes. The next one I want you to hear from is Assemblymember Brian Cavanaugh. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor and uh, Borough President uh, Gail Brewer and, and, and Congressman Maloney uh, for your remarks. Um, yeah, as, as the mayor said, this project has been a very long time in coming, and uh, it is really, in many respects, this city trying to undo some bad decisions of earlier generations. In the early generations, this city was built around the idea that waterfronts were not desirable places because we had kinds of, we had kinds of industry that contaminated our waterfronts. We had uh, a sense that we needed to look inward rather than outward. So you have what we did for the, for the most part is build right up to the bulkhead, build up right up to the riverfront. So in this stretch of the of the river, we have the FDR running right up to the water's edge. We have many buildings that are basically looking that way rather than that way, literally not having windows of apartments toward the river because the, the river was an undesirable place. Those decisions, both that kind of industry that have contaminated our cities and that kind of development is something that we spent a lot of years on doing. You've seen a lot of work over many years uh, on the west side of Manhattan and in Brooklyn uh, and in other waterfronts doing that. But this step forward has been particularly challenging because of the, uh, the physical infrastructure, because of the FDR. Um, many, many people have come together to change this. And a big step forward we took a few years ago was uh, in a proposed very complicated deal involving the UN, uh, which was going to provide a funding mechanism. Uh, Co uh, Congresswoman Maloney and Gail Brewer and Dan Gorodnik and Liz Kruger, who's not with us today but has played a big role in this, um, and myself and all of our elected colleagues really pushed very hard to get a consensus that this was something this community wanted. Uh, on, on the very first day of this new administration, I remember sitting down with Alicia Glenn, uh, the deputy mayor, to emphasize the centrality of this project for this community. Um, and it is to the great credit of this administration uh, and the mayor that, and the commissioners involved in this that they have seen this project and found a very large amount of money to make this project a reality. Um, as Gail Brewer uh, always notes, we're not done. Um, there is a next section of the gap that's just south of here that runs from 41st Street uh, to 53rd Street. Um, Councilmember Gorodnik has been particularly uh, instrumental in narrowing that gap, and I'm sure we'll hear from him in a minute. Uh, amenitizing, which is a new word for us, the, uh, the what was, was a formerly a Con Ed pier, uh, creating a park that runs from 38th to 41st Street. That was the first chunk of this gap that we made, not a gap, but actually usable space. Um, but this project stands for a city that is livable. It stands for a city that believes that our communities ought to be connected one to the other. And it stands for a city where we think bicycling and pedestrian uh, transportation 
are a very important uh, way for us to get around, and we need to do it safely, getting bikes off First Avenue and Second Avenue and onto this wonderful transit quality uh, bikeway. So again, it's a great honor to speak uh, with all of you today, and again, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, I want to hear from uh, two members of the City Council. Let me tell all friends in the media after we're going to go down to the site where this work is going to be done. There's some more renderings that we're going to be looking at down there uh, and give you a sense of exactly how this is playing out. So after we finish here, we'll all go down there. Um, we had a town hall meeting Tuesday night, uh, and the uh, forceful residents of Dan Garodnik's community were out in force to talk about a number of issues and the Improving the quality of life, making the community more livable was a constant running through that town hall meeting. So this is what we're here to talk about today. And, and Council Member Grodnick, thank you for amenitizing uh, some of the, <laughs> that's our new verb of the day, some of the areas that people really want to be in so much. My pleasure to introduce Council Member Dan Grodnick. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, and I wanted to just add a couple of words uh, to this very great celebration today. This is desperately needed for East Siders. The borough president mentioned the great saunter, that walk, which takes people all the way around the borough of Manhattan. I happen to have participated in that walk this year, the 32-mile walk, and I can tell you that there are some very beautiful spots, great waterfront access everywhere but here. And we really need to close this gap. It's key for that 32-mile great waterfront access that we will have in this city. It's going to be a great resource for Manhattanites and for people who live everywhere in New York. I will note that we do still have the gap between 41st uh, and 53rd Street, but we are, we've narrowed the area because we already have opened a piece between 38th Street and 41st, which used to be a pier that was used by Con Edison for parking. It is now a park. Uh, we were able to keep the caissons in the water with the work of my colleagues in government, myself, to fight with state agencies who desperately wanted to pull them out. We fought to keep them in. Uh, and we now have this great resource, this great opportunity, uh, and it is our manifest destiny to go the whole way around this borough. We will get there. Mr. Mayor, we thank you for this investment. It's extremely important, and it's a great day uh, for the city. Thank you. Okay. I don't know about that historical illusion, but I'm going to move on. <laughs> so finally, uh, he has been a strong advocate for more access for East Siders. He helped to secure over $12 million in additional funding for this project, which is deeply appreciated. And he's the co-chair of the East River Esplanade Task Force, Council Member Ben Kalos. Good afternoon. I'm Council Member uh, Ben Kalis. I want to thank all of you for uh, joining us today. We've got uh, members of the press. We've also got all of our friends and neighbors who've come down from their building, so uh, thank you. I love to run along the East River Esplanade, but that run stops at 60th Street, and then when I go in the other direction, it gets stuck at 125th Street, and so you might find me running back and forth between those points. Uh, but. One of the things I noticed along that run is that uh, before I got elected, the Esplanade was literally falling into the river. And uh, when our Congress member, Carol Maloney, asked me to co-chair the East River Esplanade Task Force with her, I, I couldn't say no, but I was concerned about the monumental task that it would take. Uh, but the good news is that we've had an amazing partner in uh, the Commissioner of Parks, uh, Silver, and our Mayor, Bill de Blasio, who has been investing in infrastructure non-stop. Uh, and so I want to thank the Mayor. I wanted to come out here specifically to just say thank you for this $100 million investing in bridging the gap from 53rd to 60th Street. Uh, we're currently standing in Councilmember Dan Grodnick's district. But when we go over the bridge to the Esplanade, that will actually be my district again. And it will be nice to actually be able to go to my entire district without having to get a passport stamped by my colleague uh, to the west and the south. Uh, and uh, now that we're in design for the East River Greenway, uh, we're incredibly excited. The community is ready to start giving their uh, input. And uh, we're getting closer and closer towards that goal of being able to 
make our way all the way around uh, the East River and around Manhattan. And we stand on the shoulders of giants and the amazing work that our Congress member has been doing over the years in securing $475,000 in funding when no one was investing in our waterfronts to expand the Greenway from 38th to uh, 60th Street. And so, we, as our borough president and leader continues to say, we've got more work to do, but it's great to take a moment to celebrate and uh, move into the design, take a look at what we're investing in and what we'll be connecting with, and I look forward to being able to do so. And I guess the only other question is if we can speed the timetable so that it can be done in 2021, because I would love to still be in office to have a chance to cut the ribbon on this great new amenity and be able to run on this as the council member for the district. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go take a look, everyone.